Black Slayer. Black Slayer. You cannot compete, you just don't got enough Ain't flavor. Got enough flavor. Piggy flavor. pack smoking, kicking back like the mayor. Like the like the mayor. Early bird, get the worm, guess you came I guess later. You came later. Uh, play your player. Play your player. Play your
efforts to define what kind of behavior would be tolerated. Evictions followed. Where the owners flew in from Chicago to work with us, and other improvements were made. It was about two months ago, a month and a half, that I was personally out there in this property. Besides, Jake Weil has reaction from the community and where police stand with finding the suspects. It's been a busy 24 hours for police. The shooting that happened last night was kind of surprising and kind of disappointing. The first happened Saturday afternoon on a busy Vine Street, one block north of the Cincinnati Zoo. A reckless gunfight broke out between a man in a car and a guy on a porch. Ultimately, an innocent bystander working on a car was shot twice and then taken to UC Medical Center. Then, early Sunday morning, two juveniles shot at Hutchins Avenue in Redding Road. They show up to Cincinnati Children's on their own. One block away at 2.30 in the morning, another person shot on Wyndham Avenue. No word on how severe the injuries were for those shootings, but what's left are signs planted in grass, reminders for Mitch Morris with the Phoenix program. He says the community has been working with police to try to curb shooting violence. I say all the time, we look at the signs, we'll say prevention, intervention, and not after You know, we run out there a lot of times, and, you know, I see so much when there's a boy that I just shot dead, and uh, another guy's in the, hand, in the car handcuffed and a little bit of attention. You know, we got to get in front of this. we got to get our resources before they make that bad choice. That was Jake Ryle reporting, despite these recent shootings, shooting incidents are actually down in Avondale and across the city. We're breaking down the numbers tonight at 11.
Avondale Concern Clergy, among other programs, he's keyed into the efforts to stop the violence and what's causing it. And so there are individuals coming in to Avondale, there are individuals who relocated to Avondale and now, you know, trying to uh, launch their business, and so there's somewhat of a turf war. And so this meeting here is just one of a number of efforts. In fact, last night, uh, some pastors met and talked about this same issue with police. Well, good evening, Cherie. Just moments ago, Cincinnati police identified the man who was shot and killed. He's been ID'd as 46-year-old Shantae Humphrey. Police tell us he came to the house on Rockdale with a gun and shot two others before people inside the house fired back. A violent end to a weekend of celebrations.
player, 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 track slayer. Track slayer. Track slayer. You cannot compete, you just don't got enough Ain't flavor. Flaky pack smoking, kicking back like the mayor. Like the mayor. Like the mayor. Like the mayor.